Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. Welcome to the show, everybody. It's Blackmail Advice TV. We are back in the building for another classic, powerful live stream. You all know that on YouTube, I'm pretty much the number one source of inspiration for content, and I always deliver quality content that both men and women can use. Shout out to Tevon, what up, Rallo? I see Rallo in the building. Jacob Jennings, what's going on? Welcome to the show. Shout out to the chat. We have an interesting topic for you this early morning. I'm on vacation right now, so I pretty much got a lot of free time on my hands. Um, It's very interesting because I see the light. I see what's happening within these YouTube streets and I decided to pretty much make this show to kind of mm, uh, expose or at least share my commentary because after all this is fair use right? and we all know all content creators on YouTube respect fair use so it's very clear but we have 30 oh no we got 51 people in the building okay well then we need 51 likes let's get those likes up people what what are y'all waiting for what are y'all waiting for get them likes up because we got a great show for you this morning see nobody brings content like blackmail advice TV. Nobody. Because everybody are copycats. You understand? That's that's just the way it is. Uh, let's see. We have a super chat in the building from Sheep Stay Sleepy TV. Thanks a lot for the support. It says salute righteous one. Thanks for your support. See, here on YouTube, I got to give everybody a brief history before we get down to the nitty gritty because I, I guarantee you, This is an awesome show in the making. When I tell you this show here, ah, man, this show is going to be good. In these YouTube streets, there seems to be a lot of men that are unoriginal in their content creation. They steal the talking points, the teachings, of other men and they try to remix them to fit their way in hopes to deliver content that appears original point in question polygyny for the record the Hebrew Israelite brothers that dwell in these YouTube streets 
are the first brothers and only brothers that have been pushing the truth that a man can have more than one wife. I, Ringo TV Raw Blackmail Advice TV, have put out the most content in YouTube history on the subject of polygyny. And yet, I notice something going on in these YouTube streets. I notice a lot of content creators are now trying to twist what thus saith the Most High into perversion. What are they doing? I'm glad you asked that question. I'm noticing content creators are going around talking these talking points that as men, we could pretty much deal with multiple women and it's cool for us to do that. But if you can all recall within these YouTube streets, brothers have never been talking about men dealing with multiple women as if though we could just deal with multiple women. They've been into, well, we could date, we could, you know, get with women. You had the pump and dump crowd. You had the smash and dash brothers who always talking about game and how to get women in bed. We understand all of that. But now what I'm seeing in these streets is that men are saying as men, we can literally have more than one woman to just get with and bang. And they're pushing this talking point all over these YouTube streets. You hear it from Kevin Scamuels. You hear it from, uh, what's this other brother that's being exposed by um, some other content creator, man? It's just a lot of them. Pretty much all of these brothers. Which brings me to another set of content creators that go by the name of Fresh and Fruity Podcast. Fresh and Fruity Podcast, yeah. Fresh and Fruity Podcast is in the news because I realized that all of these guys are connected to Kevin Scamuels. So what I decided to do is I decided to pretty much deal with all of these charlatans one by one. You see, I'm not playing games anymore. I'm going to expose all of you. All of you charlatans. Yeah. Welcome to Wagner. Welcome to Team Ringo. I appreciate you joining the membership. Welcome and have a wonderful stay. You may chat and speak your mind in the chat box because everybody else that's viewing won't have no voice or no way of speaking unless they become a member because here on this channel, comments are disabled for a reason. Yes, that's right. So if you want to comment, become a member, show some support. With that being said, we have fresh and fruity podcasts. These are the children of Kevin Scamuels. I noticed that these men seem to be exploiting women now. I recently seen one of their fruity podcasts and a woman got up there and she was like, you know, whatever, y'all want to see the woman or y'all want to see men. And I guess the dude got a little offended and he tried to check her. But the truth is you really do need those women. To, to fresh and fruity. You need those women. You know that I know you need those women. Just like Kevin Scamuels can't survive unless he's exploiting women for profit. Can I get a witness? You understand? Shout out to Rallo for the super chat. Super chat in the building. Let me see what he said. Okay, he said, bring it out because most of them is not original at all. No respect of persons, only a few. Here does the work of the most high. Get them the fresh and fruity. 
We, we, we really don't want to get him no publicity, even though you know who I'm talking about, bruh. But I guess all publicity, whether bad or good, is good publicity. But there's one thing that these content creators don't understand is that when Ringo TV Raw make a video about you, it's not giving you good publicity. It's going to make people turn you off. Because what I'm going to do from now on is I'm bringing that same energy that I brought when I was destroying the religious Christian preachers. Yes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to destroy all of your talking points. Everything that you try to bring forth, I'm going to destroy it. And I'm going to make women and men see the charlatans for who they are. The modern day charlatans. The modern day charlatans that are fleecing the flock. Because, you know, when it comes to all of this high value talking points, we recognize that Mr. Kevin Scamuels have a lot of minions within these YouTube streets. And for some reason, they're all high value men. I mean, as long as you got a high subscriber count, you are now considered high value. That's just the way it is now. Like now, as long as you have a high a high subscriber count, you are considered high value in Mr. Kevin Scamuel's eyes. But what is going on, Ringo? What is happening in these YouTube streets? Because we got fresh and fruity podcasts. They literally made a show, I think it was last night. And you know how when you just walking through these YouTube streets, minding your own business, you ain't bothering nobody. And you kind of just look to the side and you're like, why am I being recommended this video? And you kind of just click on to see what they see. So I'm watching this show and, you know, I'm looking at this, 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 whatever, this fruity cast. And you know, you got all of this, you know, promotion all over the screen and, and branding. And I'm like blinded by branding. I'm like, damn, how much branding you going to have? Like, okay, we know what your name is. So I just decided like in my video just to call them, you know, you know, fresh and fruity podcast because I got tired of the other name. You understand? It, it just, I, I just got tired of seeing it. It's like, like, what are you trying to do to me? I mean, like, come on now. What are you trying to do? So I know you're all sitting there wondering what's going on, but we got a lot to talk about because this is a great show. This show is a great show. And I need for you all to understand that because I am the originator, the pioneer in these YouTube streets that have been here since 2006. So none of these content creators on YouTube impress me. None of them. You understand? And I'm talking about the, the dudes who think they're the big shots. You know, you know, you content creators who think because you got 100,000 subs that somehow you arrived. You know, you, you content creators that constantly take the talking points that other people have been pushing for years. And now that you become famous and big, now all of a sudden now you think you're the man. Or you content creators that believe you're the godfather. The same godfather that don't take none of the brothers that was in this space when you were on their shows during their live streams and you don't invite none of those brothers on your platform, but you're the godfather. <laughs> Can I get a witness, anybody? You see, I never forgot where I came from. I've always been the same, brother. Always been humble, always staying in my lane. But one thing I don't tolerate is when men steal talking points and misguide women and misguide brothers. I don't like that. I really don't. Shout out to Williams. Williams, appreciate you joining the membership. And I'm probably going to mispronounce your name. Um, Wando. I'm not sure if I pronounced it right. Pro probably. I don't know if I did. I apologize. But I appreciate you joining the, the uh, membership. Um, let me see. Let me see what's going on. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Again, you are in a show right now that you need to see. 
you are in the right show. This is the show you need to see. Talking points. The Hebrew brothers within this space have been talking about, okay, one, all right, all right, got it. The, the Hebrew brothers in this space been talking about polygyny for years. You know what I mean? Brother Handu Solomon, shout out to Brother Handu Solomon. I don't know if he still got his YouTube channel, but Handu Solomon is another pioneer that always been talking about polygyny. Notice how I give respect to brothers that been doing the work. I don't try to hog it up. Handu Solomon been putting in a whole lot of work when it comes to the topic of polygyny. Pastor Dow been putting in work. You know what I'm saying? New Breed been putting in work on the subject of polygyny about a man having more than one wife. But I've been putting out content after content, breaking it down. Not for the purpose of whoredom. Not for the purpose of a man just going out there banging women. Not for a purpose of a man just going out there thinking, well, just because I'm a man, I can just go out there and just lay up with women because I can just do it because I'm a man. No. We ain't doing that. You understand? Let me see. We got a super chat from Wagner. What's going on? He says, Shalom. Sh um, Shalom. All praises to the most high. Um, Yeshua, respect to the legend Ringo. Please don't forget. Uh, let me see. I can't even see this thing, dude. He don't forget. Damn, I can't even see part of the message, man. He said the message sent to you on IG two months ago, <laughs> bro. <laughs> all right, let me let me. All right, you know what I'm saying? Could you support it? Let me take a screenshot of that, cause I'm gonna forget. Let me take a screenshot so you can hear it. Oh, you can't hear it because I had the volume off. But I just took a screenshot of your comment just so once the show is over, I can literally go and see what that comment was, bro. <laughs> My bad. But you have to remember, I get a bunch of messages on IG and I can't even respond to everything to tell you the truth, bro. Now, um, the brothers on YouTube have been teaching on the subject of polygyny for many years. Oh, another super chat. Hold on a minute. We got um, Brock Williams. What's going on? He said, good good work, um, Ringo. Appreciate the support. Um, the brothers on YouTube been talking about polygyny, a man having more than one wife for years. I gave shout outs to brothers that have been putting in this work as well, but mainly the Hebrew Israelite brothers. And pretty much all the brothers that I mentioned are pretty much Israelite, Israelite brothers. Right. That understand the scriptures. They understand the truth. We've been speaking on the topic that a man can have more than one wife. We've been speaking on the importance of the difference between a man and a woman. These talking points come from us Hebrew brothers who've been bringing out the scriptures from the Bible. Men on YouTube realize that there's profit to be made off of the gospel of truth. So what they're doing is they're exploiting that which is righteous for that which is ungodly. And that is what I'm seeing on a lot of content creators pages where they're now trying to use this talking point of, you know, men can date whoever they want, have as many women as they want, sleep with whoever they want, and women can't do the same thing. Now, I am not here to enforce women being sexually promiscuous, sleeping around with multiple men. But what I'm going to do and what I'm going to attempt to do is destroy the talking points of you know fresh and um what you call it what's that what fresh and fruity y yeah fresh and fruity fresh and fruity podcast i'm going to destroy their talking points and i'm going to educate not only those clowns um but also all of the minions that follow the likes of kevin scamuels um what's the other one um donna what is it donna harp <laughs> donna harp yeah, down a harp. You know, all of these guys that, you know, they, they take the talking points of the Hebrews. And these brothers are all atheists. These brothers are all hellbound, whoremonger males that just go out in the public and exploit our women and brothers for profit. This is what they do in these YouTube streets. So what I'm going to do throughout this show is I'm going to show you and teach 
what it means when a woman have a high body count from the original talking points that I pretty much spread all over YouTube that all of these brothers seem to be using, but they don't, don't they just don't get it. Because see, for all you clowns that like calling women this and oh, women got high body count, how do you how do you think they got that body count? From you brothers. From you. A woman just can't get a high body count by herself. You got to be sleeping with her. So, that being said, I was watching the show last night. And I noticed that these fruity guys, you know, which is supposed to be focused on, I guess, being um, fresh and, I would say, fruity. They're supposed to be doing other things other than trying to touch on topics that they really don't understand. Because, see, most of these brothers, none of them have a relationship. None of them have wives. None of them have families. But yet, they're talking as if though they could just go out there and bang women. And it's cool. It's not cool. And you're going to listen to an actual Hebrew brother, an Israelite man. Who's going to give you the breakdown and the full understanding of the talking points because it came from me. But see, these guys are trying to regurgitate and pretty much steal talking points because it's profitable. It's interesting when you make content and you get women riled up with these talking points. But these guys are not educating the women because what they're basically trying to push is that it's normal for men to just go out there and smash whoever they want. And it's okay. Ladies, it's not okay. It's not okay. You see, the Most High created a man and a woman to reproduce. The man have the seed, which mean he have the ability to multiply. He have the ability to impregnate women. These are all talking points that these content creators steal from yours truly. A man can literally populate an entire state by himself. All he need is about a good 500 women, and he can populate the whole state by himself. So what the content creators are doing is they realize that there is a lot of truth in that. So they're saying that it's okay for men to literally go out there, bang who they want, sleep with who they want, do whatever they want, and it's perfectly okay. When really it's not. It's not okay. It's not okay because the very same men that are saying it's okay to sleep around with as many women as they want are the very same men that are sleeping around with women making their body count go up. None of these men are committed to any of these sisters. None of these men are devoted to a family. None of these men are trying to rear children or bring in kids into the world. These men are primarily focused on their own lust. Therefore, they're not men. These are little boys in heat. These are little boys who are desperate and thirsty. These are males, not men. These males have not yet developed yet. So they're chasing vagina, they're chasing women, but they're not chasing commitment. They're not chasing marriage. They're trying to see what woman they can bang. Now you tell me, you're telling brothers and sisters that it's okay for men to go out there, sleep around with whoever they want to sleep with, while at the same time when women ask you, so if it's okay for men to sleep around, then can women do the same thing? But you're telling these women they can't. Question, why are you brothers telling women that they can't? Why are you doing that when you have no morals to begin with? Because you, for you to tell a woman that she can't sleep around with multiple men when you can sleep around with multiple women is coming from a moral standpoint. It's coming from a moral standpoint where you want her to be with you only. When the truth be told, when you brothers are sleeping around with multiple women, 
You're not committing to these sisters. You're not committing to none of these women. So when you pumping these women up and you leaving these sisters, you just made her body count increase. There are more women in this world than men. What do you think they get that talking point from? The Israelite brothers. Because all throughout YouTube history, the Israelite brothers have always been teaching that in the last days, seven women will come to one man and ask that she may be called by his name. In other words, the women of today are going to be flocking to one man because there is an abundance of women in the world and there's no way for all these women to get a man if you're going to follow the system of monogamy, which bring me to another talking point that these brothers are stealing. To the people who follow my channel, when have you ever seen any of these content creators ever talking about monogamy versus polygyny? None. So why all of a sudden everybody want to talk about monogamy versus polygyny? Because they get it from the Hebrew brothers. But see, these men are not following the most high. But they're acting like they're righteous. They're acting like they know something. They're acting like they're smart. You can never teach the people what you don't live. Because it's the Hebrew brothers that have been teaching this, not you. A man can have more than one wife, but a man can't go out there just to fuck whatever he want. That's where you brothers are wrong. Because I hear all you brothers talking about men have the ability to just go out there and get whatever woman they want to get with. But do you know that when you lay with a woman, you make her your wife? When you lay with a woman, you make her your wife. So if you are out there teaching brothers that it's okay to just gump, go out there and just you could just get with whatever woman, sleep with whoever you want, you have a bunch of wives out here. So now if you have a bunch of wives out here, you laying up with her, you sleeping with her, and then all of a sudden you leave her and another man lay with her, then he leave her, then another man lay with her, then he leave her, then another man lay with her, and he leave her. What sense are you brothers making when you complaining about body count when you're creating this? But you want to shame women all day. You brothers want to shame women all day when you are out here living a dysfunctional life, moving around, pumping and dumping, smashing and dashing, Throwing our sisters to the wayside because you think they're just here to get pumped and dumped. And for you dumb sisters who sit around listening to these content creators, fill your mind with a bunch of BS. You deserve everything that come your way. Because you sisters are supposed to be listening to the Hebrew brothers in these YouTube streets. Because the Hebrew brothers are going to be leading you towards the right path. The Hebrew brothers, the Israelite men, are men of truth. We're not going to try to deceive you. We're not going to try to beguile you. We're going to give you what thus saith the Most High. See, as a man of truth, although a man can have more than one wife, I'm not walking outside just basically seeing what woman I can smash and dash. If I'm trying to get with a woman, it's because I'm really trying to get with this woman to be my woman so that I can build with her. Now, if that woman decides she don't want to build with me for whatever person and she go her way, it is what it is. But at the end of the day, a man is trying to build family. These brothers on YouTube not building no damn family. These brothers are not talking about, you know, I'm trying to build and, and, and make a woman my wife. I'm trying to, you know, build a family and have children. You don't hear these brothers talking that. That's missing from their conversation. Why? Why is it? Because their purpose is destroy the souls of our women. From the likes 
of Derek Jackson destroying our women, Kevin Scamuels destroying our women, you know, alpha male scammeries destroying our women. You understand? Fresh and fruity podcasts destroying our women. I realize that the Fresh and Fruity podcast, they always inviting all these IG thoughts every damn day. Knowing good, these women are brainwashed and destroyed and rather than you brothers instilling values in these sisters, instead you use them as a way to exploit their bodies, exploit their minds, further degrade them, further humiliate them for money. Just like the pulpit pimping preacher got all of our women up in the church taking their tithes and their offerings, pimping the women. And as I sit here through these YouTube streets, I'm watching from afar, looking at our women being led astray in the house of slaughter by these men that are supposed to be protecting the women. But they're not protecting them with sound doctrine and knowledge to edify them and build them up. They're teaching our women that it's okay for men to just get with them and pump them and dump them. This is what these brothers are teaching because they get it. They get this information from men of truth that teach a biblical sound message and they twist the message, pervert the truth for the purpose of whoredom and pleasure. As men, we're not supposed to be going out here pumping and dumping our women. We're not supposed to be going out here just looking for a woman to screw just because as a man, we got the biblical right to have more than one wife. Just because I got the biblical right to have more than one wife does not mean I'm going out here trying to see what woman I can pump and dump. I'm too busy working. I don't got no time to be fucking every damn woman I see. I don't know what time do a man got to be laying up with a woman every damn minute. What time do you have as a man? If you're supposed to be on your purpose and on your grind making money, what time do you got to be in a woman's bed every day of the week? A real man don't got that kind of time. So when you brothers are pushing this narrative that it's okay for us brothers to literally go out here and deal with our women treacherously, you're wrong. And I'm gonna deal with this accordingly. Because you're not the teachers or the originators of this talking point. You're destroying our women's souls with this madness. Teaching lies. Making our women feel like it's okay for men to go out there and just use them. I'm watching this podcast and these brothers literally lied to the women and made up a story and used a stupid analogy. A dumb analogy about a damn candy store. And these are the kind of brothers that you brothers be following and subscribing to and donating to. Yet you got brothers like me giving you real truth. And my cash app is not blowing up. I should have a thousand members already. With us, the truth I'm speaking now. Where are all the members at? You got all those people in the background listening in from the background, but did they sign up? No. But they sure enough listening, and that's why my comments is disabled, because you're not going to have access to just say what you want in the comments. And you ain't supporting this truth, but yet you'll be by all these other con artists and scam artists supporting them heavily? Oh, you're just jealous. You're just a hater. Bro, I've been here since 2006 putting in work, had over 30 YouTube channels shut down and terminated because of the truth. So don't tell me about being jealous. I got a whole studio here. Do you understand me? I don't live in my mom's basement. I'm a man, a working man. My hands get dirty. You want to talk about infrastructure? Oh, you know, men are the one holding it. I'm holding the goddamn infrastructure up with the kind of work that I do. Your hands is never dirty. All you do is sit around talking about a woman's dress size. Oh my goodness, you really doing something for the infrastructure? 
but I'm the bad guy. No. I'm a lion on a mountaintop crying out for those that would listen to realize the dysfunction of our people. I'm angry because I'm seeing men exploiting women. They're not giving them truth. They're exploiting them. A man can have more than one wife. Yes, he can. But before a man can have more than one wife, he got to be the kind of brother that been with one woman. He been faithful to that woman. He took care of his family. He took care of his children. And he proved that he's a man. Then, as time and everything comes into play and he have need of another woman, then he can go get another woman. If he have the wherewith all to take care of these women and make sure that these are his wives. I'm not talking about fuck buddies. I'm talking about wives. Women that are his women. His women. They're under his protection, under his guidance. Not what these jokers are teaching on YouTube because they don't have no woman. If you look at Kevin Scamuels, where is his woman? Where's his wife? A man that can, got two divorces. Two divorces. But women go to him for advice. I want a high value man. I want a high value man. Please. Up, oh, we got a phone call. Hello. Hi, um, is this Kevin Scamuels? No, this is not, no, this is not he. Um, how can I help you? Mm, well, I'm looking for a high-value man. High-value man, um, um, I don't know, because, you know, I'm doing a live show right now. I mean, I can talk about it. You referring to that Kevin Scamuel guy, right? Yes, 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 I am. All right, I'll 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 tackle it a little bit. Um, how many kids you got? Well, I got eight kids. What's your dress size? Um, I'm a size uh, 17. Size 17? Um, I don't know if we can, um... I don't, I don't think a high-value man want you because you, you, you look like you weigh too much. But I thought that you're an image consultant. Oh, yeah, image consult. Yeah, I say that I'm an image consultant, even though I don't really have no time to do image consultant. You know, I'm on YouTube all the time, so really I don't got no clients, but I got to say that because I got to make people believe that. Oh, is that what you say? Oh, so you're really not an image consultant? Of course not. But I thought you said that you're a high-value man. <laughs> Listen, the only reason why I say that a man got to make at least 10000 a month is because while being on YouTube, I actually started getting $10,000 a month. And then once I started making six figures, I actually became a high-value man. So I use that talking point to make myself look like I'm bigger than something that I'm not. And now that I got 700,000 subscribers, I am a millionaire now. So now I'm really a high value man, even though I have no value. But back to that dress size. You wear a size 17, you say? Yes, but I'm looking for a man because, you know, I got all these kids. I got eight kids and I need them to be taken care of. Look. Um, I don't know if we can really talk on this anymore because I got a show to do and, you know, I, I really got to go. So, um, I'm going to hang up the phone on you. <laughs> That's what our women got to go through. Our women got to call in on a show where a man is filling our women up with all of that garbage. That's what our women got to go through. 
a show where our women are desperate because they want a high value man that they never going to get. These women are going to never get any such man. But they're led to believe that they're going to get this. You understand? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, snap. Wow. Women are looking for a high value man. And this is the type of nonsense they got to go through. Where they come on a platform, they got to give their weight, their size, their dress size, how much kids they have, all of this nonsense, only to be exploited, mind you. And the thing is, they're never going to be able to acquire such a man because if, if the truth be told, they don't meet the requirements. And if you really understand history and understand the world we live in, based on the narrative of high value, there's only about probably 5 to 8% men in the world that make more than six figures. So if that's true, and that's about 8%, and women outnumber men 20 to 20, 20 to 50 women per man, please explain to me how all these women who believe in monogamy <laughs> is going to get this high value man. People, turn off the bull crap you see on YouTube. It's a scam. You ladies calling in on a show talking about, well, you know, I want a high value man because I want him to pay X amount of bills while I stay home. Woman, stop it. Because the man that you're talking to don't even got a wife. He had two and they divorced him. Because he's not valuable. And he don't got no family, no structure to show you results again. How many of you at the sound of my voice is going to listen to a homeless man teach you how to make money? How many of you are going to listen to a homeless man teach you how to make money when he got no money? He got no money. How could he teach you? None of you will listen to a homeless man talk about, hey, I can help you make money. You know, I can help you do this. You know, you can you can invest in this and you could get money. You ain't listening to him because he's broke. How can you listen to a man teach you about relationships? Calling this person a relationship guru, a relationship expert that have no relationship. How dumb could people be? You're just jealous. You're just jealous. I've been warning you clowns for a long time. Nobody's paying attention. How many of you women that call in on these crazy shows, how many of you women are married long term? None of you. How many of you have a quality man? None of you. How many of you women are single mothers? Oh, a bunch of hands can raise up. How many of you women are overweight? A bunch of hands is raising up. How many of you? What results are you getting? None. Your life is still in shambles, still dysfunctional, still doing the same thing, but you calling in every day. Hello, what's your name? What's your weight? How much you weigh? What's your dress size? Who does that? Who got time for that? What man of means and value sits around asking women about their dress size all day? I'm an image consultant. You know, I've been working in corporate and I've been in corporate and, you know, I've been working in corporate and in sales. Listen, all of that is bullshit. No different than the Christian preacher who've been feeding y'all lies for years. You know, I've been corporate. I'm an image consultant. So hold up. So let me get this straight. So you're telling me that right now while I'm making this show, these clowns on or somewhere with their clients doing image consulting jobs, right? but have time to do a show for two or three hours about women dress sizes. <laughs> but, but you got clients, right? So you mean to tell me that 
uh, you can uh, degrade, bash, ridicule women and make them feel stupid all day, but women are coming to you to get an image consultant job, right? So you're telling me that you are training and giving all these men all of this image consultant information, but yet none of these men are married five years or more, but you'll teach that a man got to make $10,000 a month, at least for five years. But when it comes to a relationship, you don't have one for these five years. <laughs> See, when you put the puzzle together and you do all the math, you start realizing the scam. You understand? Let's see, we have a super chat in the building. <laughs> Mashonda Knight with the super chat. <laughs> she said, Ringo, you're right. I'm glad you're calling this mess out. Kevin Scamuels is nothing but a, a, what is that? I can't even see a bow jagging buck dancing step and fetch <laughs> a buck a buck stepping what is it but a biscuit eating past the pork chop in a soup <laughs> oh man but i appreciate the the support listen people i'm saying all of this because a lot of you knuckleheads out there and I say knuckleheaded, knuckleheads pun intended because you're foolish. Yeah. You love following wolves in sheep's clothing. You're just jealous. You're just jealous. You know, Kevin, he's my godfather. You know, you're just mad. You're just jealous. Let me tell you something. Black men within these spaces have been talking about issues concerning women for years. The majority of the stuff that you hear Kevin Scamuels talk about, men have been saying for years. The problem is he only focused on women. He only focused on the flaws of women. Because women will always have flaws if they're not with the most high. So as long as you sisters continue your life of dysfunction, the likes of a Kevin Scamuels will always be in business because you're so stupid to keep calling in trying to get attention. See, most of the women that call in know they're going to get ridicule. They know they're going to get bashed, but they don't care. You know why? They want to see themselves on camera. They want to say I was on the show so that they could feel some sense of fame. That's the sickness of our women. Even when they're being degraded, they enjoy it. You ever wonder why our women could be on porn, in porn, ghetto gaggers, and know that everybody's watching and they don't care? They have no shame because they enjoy being watched. They love the attention, whether it's negative or positive. They'll give their body all over the internet, be on the gram, OnlyFans, knowing good. And let me tell you, let me talk to you sisters that be on OnlyFans. You're, you're idiots. You start an OnlyFans page, you put up all of this content with your body, selling your feet, selling your tits, selling your ass, doing all of this stuff, knowing good and well that all that content you got, right? Let me show you the scam. You put all of that stuff up there, a brother comes along, Signs up, download everything you put up. After he download everything you put up, he go open up an OnlyFans page, upload everything that he downloaded that you put up. Now he's making the money that you was making and it's not even him. So now he's using you as a prostitute to make him money on an OnlyFans page, directing that money to his account when he ain't doing a damn thing, but using you, stupid. All a brother gotta do is sign up to your OnlyFans page one time, download everything, delete his subscription, and he's done. Now your business is all over the internet, then one day you get a puff of smoke in your mind and you realize that you are a damn fool now you want to come to Jesus. 
but all of your content is all over YouTube. So now you're trying to go get a job and your face is plastered all over YouTube because everybody remember you from OnlyFans. So now you selling your body all over the earth, but you want the respect of men. See, brothers like me been teaching this on years. And now these guys trying to use the same po talking points as if though they care. How could these men care about you sisters that are on OnlyFans when these brothers believe in getting sex out of you women at will? They don't care. They don't care. How could these brothers talk about, well, you know, as a man, I don't know why these sisters got a high body count. You know what I'm saying? Why would you brothers care if all you want is sex? If you're not trying to have a commitment with these sisters, why are you acting like you got morals all of a sudden? Why are you trying to act about, oh, well, you know, body count, you know, why does body count even matter to you, brothers, when you don't follow the most high? You don't believe in the truth. You ain't following the most high. You ain't keeping the commandments. So why are you pressing sisters about their body count for? You ain't committed to them. You ain't trying to wife up none of these sisters. So why are you worried? The only brother that's supposed to be worrying about the body count of a woman is a man that's committed to his woman. A man that's trying to commit to women is the kind of man that would worry about a woman's body count because he don't want his woman all over the block. But these brothers on social media are not committed to no woman, nor are they trying. So how dare you even question a woman's body count when you're out here pumping and dumping our women? How can you talk about a woman's body count when you contribute to the body count? Because if you are having sex with that sister and he's having sex with that sister and he's having sex with that sister, then guess what? Her body count is going through the roof. So when a sister asks you, well, if you brothers can go out there and sleep with whoever you want, can a sister do the same thing too? And you say no, you sound like a damn fool. Why? Because if you're having sex with her, he's having sex with her, and he's having sex with her, and guess what? She's having sex with multiple men too. Because if you're out there being a whoremonger, our women simultaneously by default are doing the same thing. Because none of you are committed to none of these women. How many of these brothers on YouTube is committed to a woman? or multiple women under polygyny. None of them. All they do is pump and dump. Now, with that being said, now that we got that great introduction, right? Because that was just my intro. That was just my intro. Now let's get into the message. Ain't that something? That was just my intro, man. That's deep, right? Yeah, I know. Thanks a lot. Shout out to all the members in the chat. <laughs> right? Let's get into this, right? Let me see. Let me make sure I have my plug here. Let me see what's going on. All right. Remember, fair use. So don't play yourself. Fair use. Now. Let's get into this, y'all. What we're going to do right now, we're going to play a clip from yours truly, the fresh and fruity <laughs> podcast. We're about to break this thing down. Yeah. All right, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> well, we can't just talk over each other. So, because you were saying, okay, um, because I'm because we asked you earlier if a man steps on his girl, mm. right? Is there a problem with that? And all of you guys expressed problem with that. Mm. And then I asked, well, are men and women the same? You guys are all saying no. So what I'm saying is, how can you apply your lens of commitment, not cheating, mm. to men when we're not the same? Oh my God! I have a Does question. Or I have a question. Sure. So, are you so saying... we were at dinner earlier, and mm -hmm. we actually had this conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we were saying, I asked the question to Walter. I said, Walter, so a guy <laughs> can have multiple women, right? He can mm -hmm. have sex with multiple women. Yep. But if I ask for the same thing, it's a problem. Why? Okay. Well, this is. Uh, <laughs> should we do the candy store analogy on we this should. one? Really? Sure. Should. Okay. 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 Well, listen to this mess, man. These guys. Fresh and Fruity Podcast. <laughs> Have these 
these queens, <laughs> you know, these models <laughs> on their show. And they're attempting to, I guess, teach them that it's okay for men to go out here and just bang whoever they want. <laughs> and he's going to give them the candy store analogy. The candy store analogy. Let me rewind that back because I need for all of y'all to pay attention to this, this mess that's going on here. Let, let's rewind that back. We're going to look at this thing again. Listen carefully to this because I'm breaking this thing down. I need for y'all to literally listen to this carefully and, and gain the knowledge that I'm going to be sharing here because this, this fruity podcast got to go, man. <laughs> These brothers are not supposed to be teaching nobody because they weren't born to teach. They weren't born to edify, nor are they leading our women. They're teaching our women BS. I'm calling it out. Let's go. <laughs> well, you can't just talk over each other. So, because you were saying, okay, um, because I'm because we asked you earlier if a man steps out on his girl, mm. right? Is there if a man steps out on his girl? Notice what he just said. If a man step out on his girl, this is not a man that is going after another woman because he want a relationship to pursue polygyny, to build with. This is a man that's in a relationship and he steps out, which means he's going out of that which he committed to. You understand? He's trying to make these women believe that it is normal for him to do that. Let me see. We have a new member from downtown. Shout out to you joining team um, Ringo, appreciate that. Um, you made a super chat too. Let me see. Shout out Ringo. Let me see. Love your content, man. Bless to be here. Looking forward to continuing to soak up the knowledge. Appreciate your support and for you stopping by to the show. Um, getting back to the point, um, this brother told these sisters that, you know, if a man, your man step out on you, which means this man is in a committed monogamous relationship because he's stepping out, which means this man is committed. He's not one who practiced polygyny, nor is he trying to commit himself to a woman. He's literally going out there just to bang a woman. Now he's trying to convince her that it's okay for men to do that. When it's not okay, it's dysfunctional. And all it does, it creates whoredom. It creates single motherhood. It creates more body count for our women and it destroys their soul. Ladies, you better pay attention. The talking points that I'm sharing with you here are my original talking points that men on YouTube have stolen. I have no control over people copying and stealing. I am the originator of the talking point of DNA. When a man lay with a woman, he releases DNA into a woman. She goes through a metamorphosis because of the seed that he implant in her, which is his spirit. The more seed you have in you from different men, you will go through a metamorphosis, a change. You will begin to take on the personality of these men. If these men are carrying demons, you take on the demons. If these men are carrying bad attitudes, bad personality, you take it on as well because you are becoming one with the spirit that laid with you. Over time, you will lose your ability to pair bond with a man. We like to say that women fall in love. You won't be able to love a man pretty much at all if you've been with multiple partners. This is why, as a woman, you're not supposed to engage in sexual activity with multiple men. Not because men have the ability to pretty much procreate with women and have more than one wife, biblically speaking, but biologically, women are not supposed to do this scientifically because you destroy your soul. You destroy your womb. Your body was only made to produce a child within a certain number of months, nine months. So if you're the type of sister who want to have sex with multiple men and you get pregnant by one, let's say you had multiple husbands and for whatever reason, you got these men, you're pregnant by one of them, right? These are your husbands. How are you to have a successful relationship with these men when you're with child and these men are horny and they want sex from you? Not only that, you got to cook for them. Not only that, each of them want a child from you. They got to all now wait 
till you give birth to only impregnate you again. Not only that, who is the father if all of those men are smashing you? Do you see the disgust? Not only that, you can only have one head of the house. The man is the head of the woman. So if you have four husbands, who's the head? Who's the alpha male out of your husbands? Because you can only respect one. Do you see the dysfunction? A woman was never created to get pumped by multiple men. You know that as a woman, but because of society, because of feminism, they taught you that it's okay for you to go out there and be sexually promiscuous. And to add insult to injury, you got men like this that are telling you it's okay for men to also go out there and just have sex with whoever they want because they're men. When really, that's not the case. Now, understand the balance of what I'm saying. A man can have more than one wife, which means he will have sex with more than one woman. But understand the context. More than one wife. Wife. How many men today are actually trying to build relationships with women in the context of a wife committed, holding down a family, bringing forth children, working hard to sustain his family? How many men are doing that? None. Is Kevin Scamuels doing that? No. Where are all the money going? What's the sense of talking about all this money? You got no wives. What's the sense of talking about all of this prestige and buying suits and colognes, but yet you don't got no wives? Where's the commitment? Where's the family? Where's the children? 50 something plus years old, you don't got no damn seed to take the throne. You got all this money. Oh, I'm making all this money. I'm doing all this. None of that stuff is impressive to me if you got no one to care for. What does it profit a man to gain the whole goddamn world and lose his soul? How much does it cost? What's the price of your soul? You see, these brothers think their value is in their dollar. They believe that being a high value man is about money. You can have all the money in the world and be miserable. You can have all the money and be lonely. You can have all the money in the world and be sick and unhealthy. There are men that are multimillionaires, but they can't see, they're blind. You got men that got cancer and they got millions of dollars in the bank account. Remember the CEO of Apple? Remember how he died? He had all that money, right? He had all that money. But when sickness came for him, could his money save him? No. You can't put no value in your money, man. You see, a true high value man is a man that value the most high. And these men on YouTube, they don't value the most high because they have no value themselves. They're going to all perish with all of their materials. They're going to perish with their money. What does it profit you? You don't got no wife. Where's the children? You got these brothers on YouTube, 40, 45, 50, 60 years old, bragging about money and I'm a high value. Where's your wife? Where's your children? Where's the love? I don't see you loving your family. Where is, where is, where is it? Where's the development, family wealth? Where's your seed? It's not there. Think about that. It's not there. This is a crazy problem. Crazy problem. There was a lot of stuff I had to say, but it kind of slipped my mind. But we're going to get back into it as we play this video, man. Let me see who we got in chat. D'Antonio, welcome to Team Ringo. What up, bro? Uh, let me see who else we got here. Rebel, Rebel Queen. What's going on? Appreciate you joining Team Ringo. Appreciate that. This is great. You know what I'm saying? People joining the show. And, um, you know, I hope that you're learning, listening, because there's a lot of a lot of stuff I'm going to say here. I was about to say something else. <laughs> I was about to slip a, a S bomb there. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to this video, man. Let's let's go. A problem with that. And all of you guys express problem with that. Mm -hmm. And then I ask, well, are men and women the same? You guys are all saying no. So what I'm saying is, how can you apply your lens of commitment, not cheating mm. to men when we're not the same? Now, notice what they're doing. Notice the manipulation. They're basically saying that since men and women are not the same, because, you know, you have you have a lot of people that and if, if you watch the podcast, you would have heard everything within the context. Basically, the, they asked all of the, the, the females on the, the panel, um, are men and women the same? One said, 
yes, we're the same. And the other ones was like, uh, we're not the same. We're not the same. Typically because they were scared that he's going to, I guess, box them in the corner and grill them on something. Right. So what end up happening is he's now trying to make it seem as if though since men are men and women are not the same, then women cannot pretty much judge men based on relationship issues the same because we're different. So basically a man can go out there and just have sex with whatever woman he want because he's a man. That's what they're pushing. But that's wrong because a man is not allowed to just go out there and bang who he want. Because biblically speaking, when you lay with a woman, you make her your wife. So men just don't go out there and bang women because they know they're taking on the responsibility of making women their wives. See, back in the day, they didn't call it a shotgun wedding for nothing. They didn't call it a shotgun wedding for nothing. See, if you laid with a woman and the father found out about this, they coming for you with a shotgun. Because you laying with her, you just you just took her as your wife. So you ain't just going to embarrass our daughter. You ain't going to shame my house. You going to marry and commit to my daughter. Because if you laid with her, she's yours now. You signed for the package. So they're trying to push this narrative that it's okay for men to just go out there and sleep around. Kevin Scamuels is doing the same thing. He's basically te teaching that it's okay for a man to cheat. Now understand, I support and embrace polygyny. Under that, there is no such thing as a man cheating. But let's make something straight. Cheating is only when a man commit to a woman under monogamy. In other words, you get with a sister and you tell her, look, I love you, only you. I don't want to be with no other woman but you. Once you do that, you commit it to her under monogamy. I teach brothers to say no to monogamy because as a man, it's not in your nature to be monogamous. But if you're going to deal with another woman, you got to deal with her as a wife, not as a thought, not as a side buddy, none of that nonsense. You got to commit to this woman. But these brothers are not doing that. They want to have their cake and eat it too. Even though I can't stand that saying. It makes no sense. Have your cake and eat it too. Of course you want to eat the damn cake. But my point is, they want to be able to deal with women and not have the commitment of dealing with her as a wife. Just using her for pleasure. But if we're doing that as men, how can we talk about their body count? How could we judge a woman and say, you know, all these women, they got a high body count. Well, how the hell you think they got that body count? They got it because we keep dealing with them. Listen, brothers, listen to me carefully. I'm in New York City. If I wanted to go ride a bike, right? Matter of fact, let me take that back. Hey, yo, pause. See, I could laugh at myself. If I wanted to go ride a bike, just for the sake of saying it, I don't like the way that sound. I have two options, two choices. I can buy a bike or I can rent a bike. Let that marinate. I can buy a bike or I can rent a bike. I can buy a bike or I can rent a bike. What are men doing today? Are men buying a bike or renting a bike? Ladies, are men buying you or renting you? See, if I go outside and I go to one of them terminals where they got the bikes, I got the option to rent the bike. Other people already rode the bike. Other people already used the bike. The bike got mileage on it. All I got to do is pay for it, and I got it for 45 minutes. Then I could just send it back. And guess what? Somebody else will take it and ride it too. Do you see my point? A lot of you ladies are that bike. These brothers want to rent you for the moment. They ain't trying to commit. They ain't trying to own. 
They ain't trying to buy you. They just want to rent you from the terminal, then put you back. They just want to rent the bicycle, ride it, take pictures with it, get it dirty, muddy, put it back for someone else to make the body count or the mileage go up. And that's what these brothers are doing. Because here's another thing. If these brothers are so concerned about a woman's body count, if these brothers are so concerned about mileage on a woman, it makes no sense because they're only in it for sex. If I'm the kind of brother that just want to pump and dump women, I don't give a fuck about your body count. I'll be just trying to smash. So when you see men talking about body count, they're trying to act like they got morals. There is no morals when all you want is sex. So stop fronting. These brothers are frauds. They're acting like something they're not. They're acting like they really care about you women. They don't care about your body count because if it's all about sex, there is no reason to be all about these morals. Who the hell cares about your body count? A man that's only in it to get sex don't care if you were with another man. Just like when people rent that bike, they don't care if somebody else was using it. So what? It got dirty. Who cares? I need it now. And that's what men want to do. They want to get you, take you, ride you, do what they want with you, then put you back to the streets. There's a new talking point in these YouTube streets saying that these women are for the streets. She's for the streets or something like that. Look how they disrespecting you. They don't give a damn about you. They just want to fuck you and leave you. That's it. And you let them. You allow it. You go to their channels, you support the bull crap, and you pay people like me no mind. Brothers that really give you the truth of what's going on. So he's about to teach these women that it's okay for men to go out there and bang who they want because we're men. Listen to this garbage. Oh my God. I have a Does question. That make sense? Or I have a question. Sure. So, are you so saying... we were at dinner earlier mm -hmm. and we actually had this conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were at dinner earlier and they had a conversation, which means I guess he probably took all the ladies out, wine and dine them, get them all prepped up, you know, make them feel good. And now he's about to feed them a bunch of garbage. Let's go. And we were saying, I asked the question to Walter. I said, Walter. So a guy can have multiple women, right? He can mm -hmm. have sex with multiple women. Yep. But if I ask for the same thing, it's a problem. Why? Okay. Well, this is, uh, <laughs> should we do the candy store analogy on this? See, the sister is asking you a good question. But now I'm going to explain something to you brothers to show you how stupid you are. Are you ready? When women normally use... That as a defense mechanism. When you brothers say stupid crap about, well, as men, we could go out there and bang it, whatever woman we want. And a woman will turn around and say, okay, if men can do that, right, then is it wrong if I want to do the same thing? And they quickly say, no, sisters. When they say that, understand, they've been stealing the talking points of polygyny and exploiting it. Because normally when women try to use that talking point against me, I always shut them down by teaching that when I teach on a man having more than one wife, we're talking about family and growth. We're talking about a man committing himself, building family with his wives. We're not talking about a man just going out there banging women. Because if that's the case, I would make no sense because under those circumstances, if a man is banging multiple women and he say he got the right to do that and a sister says, so, well, if a man can have multiple women, then could I have multiple men? If the man say no, he contradict himself. Why? Because if I'm banging multiple women, then at the same time, women are doing the same thing I'm doing. Why? Because if I'm banging this sister right here and I leave her and another man come bang the same sister, he leave her. Another man come bang the same sister. Then guess what? She already done dealt with three brothers. Her body count went up. So she's automatically having sex with multiple men by default because of me going out there thinking that I could just be with whoever I want with no commitment. That's what these brothers are doing. Because in the beginning, he said, if you have a man, he step out on you to go get with another woman. It's basically OK because he's a man. And the sister's saying, well, could we do the same thing? Could we go out there and sleep around? And the brother said, no, you're not supposed to do that. 
How are you going to tell her she can't do that if what you're trying to do is just get sex? There's no commitment. So how could you try to act like you're moralistic now? It makes no sense. Let's go. Yeah, really sure. sure. Okay, okay, okay. What, before, candy I store, before I do it, we got some oh, super chats. Okay. I can go Red to the candy Mike store with too. Big one hundred dollar super chat. Shout out to RBM. Ladies, pay attention and learn. Myron and Fresh are about to teach you the truth that most men who are trying to smash you are afraid to. Did you hear what he said? He said that these guys are about to teach you about men that just want to smash you. That's what he said. Let me rewind it back a little bit and see if it play again. Trying to smash you are afraid to tell you, right? My financial contribution for the night, fellas, buy equipment or cocaine. Mad love and shout out to the Chris and Trey. Thank you so much. Thank we got to buy another mic after tonight. Yeah. Um, yeah. Me and Trey got to get some equipment right after the show. Um, what else? Uh, I got think, some more. Okay. Uh, Jugo Strand, $20. Imagine wanting a man to remain sexually faithful when most women's dating pattern, their entire left is swinging from branch to branch. Always someone next on the roster. Average woman got more bodies than average men. <laughs> nice. Okay, we'll talk about that. He said the average woman got more bodies than the average man. The average woman have more bodies than the average man. Mathematically, that makes no fucking sense. No, it makes no sense. <gasps> what? That don't make no sense, Ringo. What are you talking about? You know women got high body counts? Yeah, there's a lot of women that have high body, by, um, high body counts. But how do you think they got that? They got that because they were dealing with you. See? It makes no mathematical sense. Why? Because here's the thing. See, these brothers are not thinking before they speak. They teach you because they got it from brothers like me, that women outnumber men, right? So if women outnumber men, and there are over 25 to 50 women for each man, in other words, in this world right now, there's about 50 women per man. Each man can have at least 50 women to himself. Think about that. That's why I taught that if every woman got married to one man based on monogamy. There'll be millions upon millions of women that are single. That's another talking point that all these content creators steal from yours truly. So what they're trying to do is say, well, since most of you never going to be married, then it's okay for us brothers to go out there and just bang whoever we want to bang. It's cool. No, it makes no sense. It makes no mathematical sense that all these women have all these high body counts if only a small percentage of men are getting with them. It makes no sense. It makes no sense if there are 50 plus women to one man that all these women have a high body count. That would only mean one thing. That only a few men, only a few, or the same man is banging the same women. But yet men are talking about a woman's body count. But yet we brothers are out here pumping and dumping our sisters. If all of you brothers decide to stop pumping and dumping, please explain to me how the women body counts are going to go up. It won't. So who's the cause of all of our women body counts going up? You brothers are the whoremongers of today. And you brothers are responsible for making our women into prostitutes. There would be no only fans. There would be no women selling their feet on OnlyFans. There would be no women on OnlyFans prostituting themselves if you simps, you tricks, you thirsty brothers, if you are not there spending all your goddamn money on them. So the only reason why our women are out there prostituting themselves, the only reason why they're out there selling their body is because you Brothers are enabling them and have the goddamn nerve to try to shame them when you're the one having a subscription to OnlyFans. I wish that you could be exposed, every last one of you. How many of you brothers on YouTube secretly have OnlyFans accounts? Looking at women, paying them money, sending them DM messages, talking about I'll pay your rent and I'll buy you an iPhone 12. A bunch of thirsty hypocrite simps and have the nerve to talk about women. And you are the one that's dysfunctional. 
you brothers are the ones that create these single mothers. You think all these women are just walking around with babies because they're just so wicked and terrible? Yes, we got a lot of problems with our women. I teach on that all the goddamn time. But it's you brothers planting seeds in these women. So don't complain when child support court come for you. Because a woman can't get pregnant if you ain't put that seed in her. You want to talk about women can use birth control and women can use the morning after pill. Well, you ain't have to ejaculate in her. You bust that nut. Now it's time for you to pay. You ain't getting no content like this on YouTube. These brothers are not original. Over here you get flames. Raw, uncut content. Real fire. Not that made up stuff from your so-called fresh and fruity podcast. I've been here since 2006. All these guys are freshmen to me, man. Freshmen. They're not some so-called OG godfather. I gotta bow down, you know, it's the godfather. Get the hell out of here. You guys are new. You guys don't got no damn content. Lying to our women got our women jacked up and deceived and wait till you see my next live show oh man let me let me just speak on it a little bit <laughs> these content creators on youtube man we're gonna get into that we go i'm gonna deal with that another time man uh, we got some stuff coming up man ain't no jokes man for real all right let's go let's go let's go here in a second, uh, Samir Russian. That's okay, that's cool. We'll, we'll talk about this in a second. Twenty dollars. We'll and shout out to Ray, Ray Ray's zero five one two for the super chat. Appreciate that. Uh, let me see what else. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. She be bringing Miss Israeli back. She at least tries to stay calm and argue logically and tries to keep emotions in check. I hope this panel tries to learn. It's already a train wreck. Well, you know that's my job is to trigger people. My job is to trigger you. If your job is to trigger people, my job is to trigger you. That's why I am mocking you with Fresh and Fruity Podcasts. I'm the master of doing this type of stuff. You want that smoke? Bring it. Because I'm giving you that right now. And I'm not playing. This is real talk here. This is a real video analysis, commentary and criticism from a YouTube OG that I'm sure you know about. Because all these content creators watch my videos on the low. Like, yo, that's Ringo, man. Yo, I don't know, man. I don't know if I should say something. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want him to make a video about me. Let me not say nothing. You know what I mean? I'm going to stay quiet. You know what I mean? I don't want to. I don't want to wake up the dragon. Hey, yo, hey, yo, 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 fresh. Yo, that dude Ringo, yo, he making a video about you, yo. Hey, yo, hey, yo, fresh. Yo, what up, bro? Yo, that dude Ringo TV Raw, man, he making a video about you. Who he is? Yeah, he got a live show right now. It's popping, bro. Damn, what's going on? Yo, he, yo, he's going in. Let's go, y'all. Let's go. Uh, but yes, Mrs. Israeli will be back to make terrible claims again. Her and her friend. Yeah. <laughs> Women don't need validation. Instagram, OnlyFans, Snapchat, social media is cheating. Posting body pictures like posting a for sale sign for street sign. That's uh, when you're oh saying that God. women don't need validation. <laughs> Listen, there will be no Instagram, Snapchats, OnlyFans if you simps, tricks, and suckers are not there financially making these women paper. So before y'all talk crap about these women, how about you brothers start judging yourselves? How about you brothers look in the goddamn mirror? You know, these sisters, you know what I'm saying? They on OnlyFans doing this, prostituting themselves. Well, uh, last time I checked, you brothers have accounts. How many of you brothers be beating off to OnlyFans? How many of you brothers be beating off every time you watch IG photos of women? You in the DMs, thirsting like crazy, knowing good and well that all these brothers are trying to get the same woman, but you there trying to shoot your shot. 
Hey, sister, how you doing, babe? You know, I've been watching your photos on IG, and I just got to say, babe, you know, I'm really feeling you. You know, babe, uh, I'll buy you an iPhone, you know. I mean, I'll send it to you right now. I'll mail it to you. Uh, please, could, could, I, could you just send me a, a picture of your toes? You know, of, of your buns, your tits, something, please. And you sitting there beating off to a, a damn photo, bro. That's what you brothers are doing. You brothers are doing this, man. You brothers. I see women talking about I made 20 bands on OnlyFans. How could a woman make $20,000 a month on OnlyFans and you want to shame her when you brothers are financially supporting that BS? You stupid brothers are sitting there paying a woman to show you her feet. You thirsty brothers, you thirsty ass Negroes signing up to see a woman play with herself. I tell you, this is embarrassing. Women got rich during COVID because of tricks, simps, and suckers. Wow, this is wild, man. Let me see. over there i'm just approving some of the comments it got um it was marked as spam but i just approve your comments um shout out to sean owens for the super chat he said it's no wonder we see so much dysfunction average um delusion these clowns are screwing up the culture yeah they exploit our women for money acting like they're professionals and and you know common you know guys that that knows how to speak great orators and so forth but these guys are all frauds all of them are charlatans none of these guys are real you know what i'm saying that's why i'm making a mockery of their damn um you know their branding and all of that crap you know i call them the fresh and fruity <laughs> yeah that's right i've got no respect for these clowns man these guys are not men let's go um all right and then, okay, we're good. Go ahead. Okay, so ladies, um, the, the best way I can explain this, because I get this all the time. Well, is it okay for me to have multiple partners uh, like a man can? And the answer is, is no. And I'm going to explain why here in a second. So it's not okay for a woman to have sex with multiple guys, but it's okay for you brothers to just go out there and have sex with multiple women just to have sex with them. We're not talking about commitment. We're talking about men just going out there banging who they want to bang. But it's okay for you brothers to do that. But you want to act like you got morals by telling a woman she can't do that. Brothers, again, mathematically, you're not making no goddamn sense. Because if all of y'all are all banging the same women and banging multiple women and not committing to them and throwing them back to the streets, then another guy is picking them up, which means she's having sex with multiple men, dumbass. So you're not really making no logical sense. Just watch how this guy hang himself. Let's go. So... Imagine that there's a candy store, okay? Listen to this stupid analogy. Listen to this garbage. You guys are allowed entrance as soon as you're 18 years old of age, right? You guys are allowed to go into a candy store, eat whatever candy you want, free of charge, no big deal, right? After some years in a candy store, you guys start to get a taste of what you like. You know, you start to realize that Tootsie Rolls are disgusting. So hold up. They got into the candy store. They got, a use, they got used to a certain taste that they like. Remember, people, this is a candy store. These women are eating a certain kind of candy, right? Let's go. Laffy Taffy, yellow flavor is bad. Gummy bears rinds your teeth. Whatever it may be. But you start to figure out patterns because you've been in there for a while. You have experience, right? Mm -hmm. The Experience in the candy store. However, are not allowed into this candy store until they're about 35 years old. Men are not allowed in the candy store until they're 35 years old. Have $100,000 saved up and they... $100,000 saved up, Kevin Samuels talking points. You've been in the gym for a few years. Been in the gym for a few years, which mean you brothers, in order for you to get women, you got to work out, you got to become a high value man in order to get into this candy store to get what women are getting in the candy store. Let's go. So what do you think is going to happen in about 13, 15 years when they actually are allowed to get into the candy store? <laughs> Bang! They're going to break into the candy store, go crazy, have every single piece of candy. They're going to go nuts. They're going to go nuts. They're going to break in the candy store. 
and go nuts off of what? And you're going to look at them like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? Take it easy. You know, there's candy enough. There's enough candy here for everybody. There's enough candy in that store for everybody. I thought the women were eating this candy. I thought the women were eating. But now you're saying there's enough candy in the store for everybody. What kind of candy? Let me see. But what you guys don't understand is that you were allowed into the candy store without really putting effort in. You were just allowed in because you're a woman, whereas men have to fight and claw to get into the same candy store. So when they're in there, finally, after saving up the money, putting in the time, et cetera, going to the gym, they're going nuts. They're eating those same Tootsie Rolls that you guys were saying disgusting. They're eating those same Tootsie Rolls that you guys were saying disgusting. They're eating those same Tootsie Rolls that you guys were saying disgusting. They're eating the same Tootsie Roll. That the women were eating. So hold up. So you telling me that you brothers bust open the candy store <laughs> to put the same Tootsie Roll, which is brown. You know those long Tootsie Rolls, paws? The brown ones. They couldn't wait to put it in their mouth. The same Tootsie Roll that the women were eating. These brothers want to eat too. That's the candy store analogy, people. This is what you brothers are consuming. They're eating those same Tootsie Rolls that you guys were saying disgusting. The yellow Laffy Taffy. You know, they're eating whatever they can get their hands on. Why? Be <laughs> they're eating whatever they can get their hands on in the store that the women are in eating from. Bro, I don't think that men should have in their mouth what women are putting in their mouth. That candy store analogy is horrible. Because they had to work to get in there and everyone else is clawing and fucking fighting to get into this. First of all, why would men be clawing and fighting to get into a candy store? You brothers are thirsty. That's why. That's why you brothers are in the DMs. That's why you brothers are on OnlyFans. That's why you brothers are on Instagram thirsting because you're thirsty. You brothers are thirsty as hell because you can't get a woman because you're an incel. You're weak. So because social media is so easy to slide in the DMs, sign up to OnlyFans, women are just taking advantage of your thirst because you're stupid as hell. So, yes, it's bad that women are on OnlyFans prostituting themselves. But you brothers are to blame because you got them in business. See, if I start a business and nobody's buying my product, I go out of business. So if you brothers are really complaining about women being on OnlyFans and Instagram and all this other gram, then how about you stop supporting it? How about you brothers stop putting your money in dysfunction? If you want women to cooperate because you brothers are damn hypocrites. I hear Kevin Scamuels talking about buying escorts. You know, ain't nothing wrong with paying a woman thus and so for the weekend and blah, 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 blah. And people take that as truth. <laughs> so you mean to tell me you brothers got to pay for sex? <laughs> so you mean to tell me as a high value man, you got to buy vagina? <laughs> Where's the game? Where's that, that boss mentality? Where, how, so hold up. Women don't just flock to you because you're that man. You got to pay for vagina now? So you mean to tell me you thirsty brothers got to go on OnlyFans so you can see vagina? You got to pay to see the visual sight of a vagina? You can't get with a woman and open her legs and see the real thing? You got to go to OnlyFans and sign up and put your credit card in uh, and put your credit card in uh, so you can see some vagina. So you can see some tits. Uh. That's what you brothers are doing. You can't go out there and just meet women. You got to go out there and pay them to see their toes. Hey, yo, bro, I just signed up to OnlyFans, man. Why you signed up, bro? I wanted to see that sister's feet. And don't get me wrong. I like sisters that got pretty feet, too. But I ain't signing up to no OnlyFans. To see no goddamn toes. I ain't doing that, bruh. 
It ain't happening here. I ain't putting my hard-earned money in some woman's pocket so she could show me her toenails. So she could bend over and play with herself. I'm not doing that. You brothers got a lot of work to do before you start judging these sisters, man. Word up. Let's go. Candy store. So you're, you've been in there for like 10, 15 years already. So you don't understand why the men have this appetite for candy. And this is why, right? Since you've been in the candy store, you can't sit in there and continue to eat candy all day because you're going to rot in your teeth. Because you've already been in there for a while. I don't understand. So hold up. Women are in there eating candy all day, rotting in their teeth. But you brothers want to go in the same candy store so you can get the candy in your mouth so you can rot in your teeth. Why are you brothers so thirsty to have chocolate in your mouth? I don't like that analogy. I really don't. This is why you're the fresh and fruity. I just don't understand the analogy of having, you know, Tootsie Roll chocolates. And I just don't know. I don't see why a man have to wait till when he's 30 years old. He got to make 100,000 or more, six figures a year, work out and be in shape in order to get women. I, I just don't understand that. But you're saying that these women were in the candy store for 15 years. Who they were in there with. If you men have no access to get in the candy store. Like you're not making no goddamn sense. So on one hand, you saying that men can't get into the candy store. They got to break in it. But the women been in there for 15 years. Who are they in there with? Who are, who are they with in the candy store? Because if you guys are not in there and they're in there with women, are you saying they're with women on women? What kind of sweet candy they getting? And why are you brothers that are high value trying to break in? I thought Pookie and Ray Ray robbing steel. You would think that a high value man would have access to quality women. I thought quality women gravitate towards a high value man. Uh, but it seemed like these brothers, man, I don't know, man. That, that, that analogy is very, very suspect, bro. Very, very suspect. Why the women have been in there for so long? Because yeah. the point, the point I'm trying to make. We were sense. the ones. Wait, wait, wait. Because I don't women get, get men so early in age. No, because what, I'm going to make it very simple for you. For women, sexual abundance is given. Right. For men, sexual abundance is earned. It's earned. So I therefore, know. Know. listen, what you said right there, bro, is utterly stupid. You're saying that sexual abundance for women is given. But sexual abundance for men is earned. <laughs> sexual abundance <laughs> for women is given. <laughs> but sexual abundance. For men is earn. <laughs> that make no goddamn sense. <laughs> because if sexual abundance for women is given, then how could sexual abundance for men be earned? <laughs> if the sexual abundance is given by men. What school you graduated from? <laughs> you need hooked on phonics, bruh. Something ain't right here. Sexual abundance for women is given. But sexual abundance for men is earned. That makes no logical sense. Because if sexual abundance for women is given, men are giving them that. So if they're giving them it, why would they be trying to earn it? <laughs> I 
mean, who write your script? Who's your producer? I'm a one-man army here on Blackmail Advice TV. I don't need no staff. I don't got nobody here. Nobody. I'm running the show by myself. Talking that garbage, man. This is, these are the people you subscribe to? Yo, I should have 80,000 subscribers right now just off this video. All them subscribers over there by, uh, what is it, a Fresh and Fruity podcast? Come on over here and subscribe, man. Stop playing around. Stop playing around, man. It's crazy. Shout out to Sean again for the super chat. He said these brothers are hella suspect. That analogy was garbage. Agreed. Stop supporting this trash. For real, man. Um, let me see. Jamel, appreciate you for the uh, super chat. He said, facts, Ringo. Appreciate that. Let me see what's going on. All right, all right, all right. How everybody doing out there? You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Let's go. Listen to some more of this garbage. Notice, notice the sister in the middle. The, the sister in the middle is like, hell no. What do you mean sexual abundance for women is given? She's probably like, I don't have no access to no guy when I want. It's like, what the hell these guys are talking about? I mean, if you really see, if you really, listen, let me tell you something. If you study body language, these women on the panel know these guys are full of shit at this point. <laughs> They're like, hey, I appreciate you putting me on the platform, getting me a little buzz and whatnot. But at the end of the day, these sisters really don't respect none of these clowns. <laughs> They're like, why, why are we here listening to this bull crap, man? Let me see, man. Like, it, it, it don't even make no sense. Like, she's like, what is, what is this guy talking about? <laughs> hey, Daphne, I don't understand why these guys are talking like this. <laughs> you know, I went to such a prestigious school and I don't understand. <laughs> you know, in my modern day vernacular, <laughs> this gentleman is absurd. It's crazy. You know, let's go. Oh, okay. You know what? You know what? There's a gross lack of knowledge here. So I'm going to go. Around. Gross lack of knowledge, bro. Come on. Don't hey, listen. Why? Why are you? Pre listen. Why are you deflecting? You're telling these sisters it's a gross lack of knowledge because they don't want to agree with you. You trying to push a narrative that's false by saying that. The abundance of sex for women it's pretty much there, like, like they just have access, but for men, it's earn. So you're telling me that a high value man gotta earn sex from a woman? <laughs> Do you see how they just keep shooting themselves in the foot? It's crazy, man. Check this out, let's go. On the table and ask a question, because I want to see where the ladies' heads are at. Right. Okay, we're gonna start with. You want to see where all the ladies' heads are at. <laughs> Bro, I, I don't know, man, but wow. That was crazy, man. Let's, let's go. Thank you, the contrarian. How are you? What percentage of men do you think are sexually active with women? Now, this is another stupid talking point. <laughs> He's asking a woman, like, what's the percentage of, like, sex you know, men today are having with women, like a percentage. First of all, um, none of you have the answer to that question. None of you, because it makes no goddamn sense. <laughs> I don't remember anybody knocking my door to ask me that. <laughs> so where are you getting these crazy numbers from? I don't know. You would have to look at their show to figure out all of that. I just I'm ed I edit the video right here to just he hear him ask her the question to just show the stupidity of what men do by asking women like like how is she to know this? <laughs> well, um, since I've been in college, <laughs> I've noticed that the majority of the men have been having hot sex uh, with many of the faculty. <laughs> so I would say approximately, <laughs> um, I would say probably 25%. <laughs> 
Am I right, sir? <laughs> All right, let, let's go. All right. Question. Go so ahead. you say, what do you call it? Like men wait to get into the candy store. Like when they finally do, they go crazy. Yeah. So why don't they go crazy before they get into a committed relationship? Why don't you, you know, have... Be wow! <laughs> Did you hear what the sister said? Shout out to the sister. Shout out to the sister for what she said. Let me see if I can rewind that back. Let's go. I'm going to start with, with you, the contrarian. What percentage of men do you think are sexually active with women? Question. So when you say, what do you call it? Like men wait to get into the candy store. Like when they finally do, they go crazy. Yeah. So why don't they go crazy before they get into a committed relationship? Why don't you, you know, have because, all that fun? Wow, man. Man, the sister, the sister cooked them right there, man. I had to put that gunshot effect in there. When I get my new um, stream deck, because I got the regular one right here. I got to get the one that have like, I think it's about 30 something buttons. I'm going to have that and I'm going to have some other device for sound effects. I'm going to have like a thousand sound effects here going crazy. It's like nothing's online. I mean, I can't find nothing on the Elgato site. And b &H photo website don't got none in stock. Damn. I want to get my effects going. I got a bunch of effects, man. So with that being said, the sister brought up a good point. And it basically shut down all these brothers. In other words, y'all going crazy trying to get into the candy shop. Welcome to the candy shop. Brothers are breaking into the candy store trying to get this candy that women have in their mouth. You know, they want that 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 uh that brown chocolate in their mouth. I don't know why these guys are in this damn candy store doing that. It doesn't make any sense. But she's saying, why aren't y'all as aggressive when it comes to being in a committed relationship? Y'all gotta listen to what she said. Listen, I'm gonna rewind it back. Listen to what she said. Let's go. That's right. Right. Okay, we're going to start with, with you, the contrarian. What percentage of men do you think are sexually active with women? Question. Go ahead. So you say, what do you call it? Like, men wait to get into the candy store. Like, when they finally do, they go crazy. Yeah. So why don't they go crazy before they get into a committed relationship? Why don't you, you know, have because all that? Why don't you brothers get crazy when it comes to get into a committed relationship, why is it that you brothers are not committing to these sisters? Which goes back to my original point in this stream. These brothers ain't trying to commit with you sisters. They just want to bang you and leave. They ain't trying to stay. They just want to pump and dump. The sisters making a point. Y'all talking about high body count. Y'all ain't trying to stay with these sisters. You know what I mean? And I don't know none of them ladies there, but pretty much all the ladies up there are nice looking. Mainly them sisters right there. You know what I'm saying? All of them are nice looking. You know, the, the snow bunny that he asked the question to, where she asked, he asked um, um, how many brothers or what percentage of men. That's a nice looking um, snow bunny. But the two sisters, nice looking sisters. She want to know why the men are not as aggressive when it comes to committing. Why is it that you brothers, when you get with our sisters, you ain't as excited to commit and be in a relationship? Right? It went silent right there. Watch the dumb answer the brother give. Watch this. Listen to this stupidness, man. Listen to this. It's because, because the things that make a man attractive take time to earn. So men don't necessarily become as attractive as they can be until they have some money, confidence, a little bit more seasoned. Mm. The things that make a man attractive take time to acquire. So by the time he's attractive, he, he's in his 30s. <laughs> so you're telling me that a man is not attractive to women. Until he's 30 years old. <laughs> That's what you want me to believe? You want me to believe that a man, in order for him to be attractive to a woman, he got to make six figures. He got to work out. He got to get buff in the gym in order to be attractive to women. <laughs> wow. 
But yet, this is what these content creators are putting out in these YouTube streets. And I got to come here and literally deliver, you know, the, the Hadouken. Hadouken! Hey, that sounded just like the damn video game right there, and I just did that. Hadouken! This is crazy, man. So I got to make a bunch of money in order to be attractive to a woman? So is that what high-value men are doing? Because, you know, Kevin Scammers are always telling women they're adjustable six or adjustable seven or whatever the hell it is. But Kevin Samuels is not a Brad Pitt or a, you know, uh, you know, Denzel Washington. You know, all the ladies go crazy over Den Denzel Washington, no matter how old he is. I mean, have, have, was the, were the ladies going crazy over Kevin Samuels in his older videos when he was um, so-called um, reviewing cologne? No. So why all of a sudden, is it the money? Is it the flamboyance? Because I already done told y'all, and I'm going to say it again because people keep stealing my talking points. The only reason why people flock to Kevin Samuels to pretty much listen is because he's like one of the girls. <laughs> I know that bothers you. He's your hero. He's your godfather. But at the end of the day, he's like one of the girls. That's why they accept him. He take the talking points of men, real men, and he knows how to be, uh, I guess, combative with women and catty with women. So he goes against women. If a woman says something, he goes at her. Because it's a woman. He likes to argue with women. That's what women do. Men really don't do that. Men don't have the patience to sit there arguing with a woman all day. <laughs> but Ms. Ms. Mr. Uh, Scamuels, he's, he's good with that. And see, all these other guys that you see me talking about here, these are all his minions. These are all his, 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 his offspring. <laughs> and I don't got respect for none of them. Your sub count does not make me respect you. <laughs> Again, I've been here since 2006. Everybody know about my name. Everybody know who I am. Everybody saw a video by me already. I'm hated by all of these brothers because they know that I'm the pioneer. You want competition? You want to be competitive? I'm doing the work right now. Show your work. I'm showing my work. I'm the genius at this type of thing. <laughs> Nobody could do this like me like this, man. Isn't this wonderful? The way I could just break down a video and show people the truth. You try to make women believe that they have access to just have sex with whoever they want. Well, you know, the abundance of sex is there for women. But men, you know, we got to earn. Men have to earn sex? Men got to make all this money in order to be attractive to women? If that's the case, why Pookie and Ray Ray is impregnating all our women in the hood? <laughs> why we got so many single mothers today if men have to make all this money in order to be attractive to a woman? Then why are women opening their legs for all of these guys that are no good? You can have all the money in the world and still not get a woman. Remember, Mr. Scamuels is supposed to be an image consultant <laughs> for men that need to work on their image because they're trying to get women, which prove that men that got money can't technically get women. I already done told you, Kevin cannot get women unless he walk with his money. That's the only way. He cannot pull a woman off of just being himself. Can't. And if you're a man that got to lead with your money, you ain't going to earn respect from women. They'll just get you for your paper, just like all these clowns in the industry that get played. What is that Migos guy? Quavo or whatever the hell his name is got played. <laughs> woman came in and played him for a Birkin bag. How does it feel, Quavo, to buy a woman a Birkin bag and get played, sucker? <laughs> Stupid, man. I mean, real talk, man. Shout out to Corey for the super chat. He said, you hitting, hitting hard today, bro. Salute, Ringo. Um, from downtown. 
Thanks for the super chat. He said, their perception of a high value man is crazy to me. My grandfather didn't make six figures and he raised seven kids and 13 grandkids as a truck driver. Facts, man. He's a working man. These brothers on YouTube, their hands never been dirty. Their hands never been dirty. They don't know what it means about infrastructure. You ever heard Kevin Samuels talk about, you know, us men, we control this and we, we, you know, work on the infrastructure. But what work did he do with his hands? What work did he use? Did he do building, working like a man, getting his hands dirty? What skills do he got as a man? What did he got? Nothing. That's what he got. Absolutely nothing. But they want to talk about infrastructure. They don't know nothing about infrastructure because they don't got no goddamn skills. If the system fell, they won't even be able to survive. It's the men that work with their hands that have these skills. Just like your grandfather. As a trucker, truck driver, he was able to raise seven kids. But yet men like that, those are the high value men. Men who value their family. Men who worked. But these guys on YouTube, they'll shit on brothers like that. And think because they got a podcast sitting around asking and talking about a woman goddamn dress size that that somehow made them high value. When you got men holding down families, men that been doing this for years, working hard, building and raising kids for the next generation. What children did these men on YouTube raised? Talking about, oh, they helping the black community. They ain't helping a goddamn thing but their pockets. They ain't helping none of you people. If these so-called content creators were about helping the people, then why they don't got all the brothers in the so-called manosphere on their panel? Why the Kevin Scamuels don't invite the least of the content creators with the so-called little channels on his channel to talk, to help him build up? Because he want to be the top dog. And I already done told y'all, by the time summer hit, he gonna have 1 million subscribers. I already done told y'all because the YouTube system is working with him. He already is in place as an agent to destroy you brothers. But you don't see it yet. When that day come, I want to see how many of you going to ride that train. Because many of you are following the likes of the Scamuels. I see people on YouTube copying his talking points, mannerism. I seen one video with a clown talking about Hey, everybody, get the likes up because, you know, I, I, I want to make sure that the, the speaking engagement is up. <laughs> speaking engagement. The only one that I hear using that word about speaking engagement is Kevin Scamuels. He's influencing men to do the same thing. So now you got a lot of men acting like they have knowledge that they really don't live. You got men acting like they could just get into a relationship, screw whatever woman they want to be with. And women are supposed to just accept that type of whoredom and whorish behavior. If you're the type of brother pumping and dumping women, how are you one that respect your main woman if you're sleeping around with every woman? Bringing in venereal diseases and pregnancies and all this other bull crap and then yours. Kevin Scamuels is telling you brothers and sisters that well you know a man can do it as long as he's respectful as long as he don't bring no unwanted pregnancies as long as he ain't putting me out there and embarrassing the family listen if I'm a high value man and I have to do all of that then obviously I'm wasting my goddamn time because I need your permission still so it make no sense what he's saying is it right or wrong because if you're a man and you're a man of value and you know you can have more than one wife, then why would you tell the brothers and the sisters as long as he don't bring no unwanted pregnancies? That's because these brothers are only in it for sex. They don't give a goddamn about you women. They don't care about you women. So if you women wanna protect yourself from these charlatans and these dogs on these social media platforms, turn them off 
and stop supporting this function. If a man is serious about you and he respect you, he would make you his wife and he will take care of you. Well, ladies, you want a high value man? Yes, I want a high value man, Kevin. Yes, I do. Well, if you live in Los Angeles, it's going to cost approximately $300,000 to raise a family of four. Where the hell, he, where, where this fool get these numbers from? You brothers and sisters that are watching the show right now, your mom and your pops, whether you was raised with a single mom or not, she did not raise you off of six figures. She did not raise you and your brothers off of six figures. You didn't need $300,000 to raise a family. Well, if you live in LA and you live in this one, you need, you need 400,000 to raise a family of five. Where, where this, listen, if only 8% of people make six figures, where the hell he getting these crazy numbers from? It makes no goddamn sense. I mean, by his so-called standards of high value, if you make six figures, then I must be already a, a, a high value man already. But just because you make six figures does not mean that you have the ability to raise a family. And it doesn't mean that your woman is going to be happy. And it doesn't mean that you can pretty much be a father. It takes a man of moral excellence to raise a family. To be responsible with his manhood. To be responsible when he's in the streets. To love his wife and really protect his family. These content creators don't know what it means to be high value. That brother's grandfather was high value. You understand? Raised seven kids, 13 grandkids. Takes a lot to do that. Let these content creators on YouTube show you the receipts of the families they raised. You can have all the money in the world. You can buy all the suits, all the cars. You can buy all the materials. I know about materials. I know about having nice things. I know about owning nice things. Listen, people, you can have all the nice things and still not be happy. You can have the best equipment, the best studios, the best cameras, all the clothes, all the shoes, everything, and still not be a happy person. Because if you don't got no purpose with your life, you ain't shit. You understand? Real talk. Shout out to Brown Hornet for the super chat. Appreciate you. Um, King Life, what's going on? Appreciate you for the super chat. He said, clearly... You haven't dated since 2006. You sound like you would settle for a mini a minivan when you're making moves. Don't be jealous. Imagine this idiot. <laughs> this person, look, look how stupid this person is. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. This person signed up. Signed up to basically insult me. Hey, I appreciate the money. I'll take your money any day. That's a dumbass right there. Anyway, um, let me see. And I'm removing your comment. <laughs> you see how that works? Like, you got to be stupid to do something like that. Like, you coming on my platform and actually going to sign up to insult me with a super chat. You got to be stupid to do that. Like, that's dumb as hell. Anyway, shout out to Corey for the super chat. Appreciate that. Um, let me see. Let's get back to the video, y'all. Let's go. I'm some, some people crazy, man. However, like typically guys start to realize their value right when women are trying to lock dudes down. In their that's late twenties, guys are starting to realize their value. Yeah, that's yeah. what you think. I think that's just so sad. Men, men should be men. more aware know. of what they are and question. should have more confidence in themselves earlier on. It's not our fault that you can't get into the candy <laughs> store. No. Uh, wow. Did you just hear what she just said? She's talking about men and how they're unable to pretty much get into the candy store. And how it's sad that you got to do all of that stuff, have no confidence whatsoever, and you're trying to blame women because you can't get in the candy store. <laughs> Imagine that. Isn't that something? But this is what brothers are going through. And notice, 
Notice how powerful this truth is that you have men that are so desperate and thirsty <laughs> to speak to me that they join the chat just to say BS. And you wondering why I disable comments? That's why. Because this is the truth, people. You have these people who they worship content creators and they believe someone is jealous. Do you see the studio that I'm in? Do you see this room? Are, are, do you, are, are you out of your mind? Show me a content creator on YouTube that have diffusion on his walls. I built that. I built everything in here. Jealous? You haven't dated since 2006. <laughs> you are jealous. Typical female talking points. Jealous of what? See, the problem is you can't handle the truth. The truth is you brothers are responsible for a woman's body count, not the woman. You are. You want women to be held accountable. Yeah, I do too. But how about you brothers hold yourselves accountable? A woman can't get pregnant if you ain't releasing sperm. Well, you know, she could take the morning after pill. She could do this. She could do that. Yeah, she could. But you know what? You ain't have to ejaculate in her. Let's talk about that. See, you are releasing sperm in these sisters. And then you getting mad when she come up pregnant and you on child support. See, Kevin Scamuels and the likes, they can make videos talking all sorts of crap about women. But when you have men like me that speak truth to power, real talk, I get bet with backlash from weak beta males that are simps that have to pay for vagina. They got to pay to see a woman's feet. <laughs> Imagine how much of a punk you are to sign up to OnlyFans to see a woman's body. So you don't got no woman? <laughs> you got to pay? You got to... It's no different than going to a strip club. <laughs> but you mad with me. Isn't this something? It's crazy, man. Uh, let me see. Let me see what this person is saying. I don't know what they're saying. All right. Let me see. Let me rewind it back to see what that, that sister had to say. Because it's at the end of the clip right there. It's like she said something and it was like the end of the clip. But let me play it back. He, he's in his 30s. <laughs> However, like typically guys start to realize their value right when women are trying to lock dudes down. In their that's late 20s, guys are starting to realize their value. Yeah. That's what you think. I think that's just so sad. Men should be yeah. more aware of what they are and question. should have more confidence in themselves earlier on it's not our fault that you can't get into the candy store no well uh, here's the thing all uh, women are chasing the top 10 to 15 percent of men listen we're going to close it down right there that's the end of that segment there but let me get to like my regular commentary right um he just finished off by saying women are pretty much chasing the top i guess 10 percent of men um that makes no sense Look at the majority of single motherhood in today's day. Look at all of the inner city neighborhoods, black communities, all single mothers, right? Now, are all those women chasing the top 10% of men? No, they're not. They're dealing with Pookie and Ray Ray. That's who's getting them in bed. Pookie and Ray Ray. They're the ones dealing with these sisters. It's not the top 10% of men. Women are not chasing the top 10% of men. That's a talking point that they're pushing Kevin Scamuels is pushing. Donovan Harp is pushing. All these other frauds and, 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 and charlatans on YouTube, they're pushing all of this stuff. You know? The Derek Jacksons, they're pushing all of that type of mess. Um, your dating coaches, you know, alpha male scammeries. All these guys are pushing this narrative 
that, you know, these guys are all high value men and the women want them. But these men don't want none of these women. They just want to pump and dump. Imagine. People praise men that are pumping and dumping women. But then they shame women for having a high body count. Let that make sense. You support alpha male scammeries for pumping and dumping and teaching our brothers strategy that don't even work for him <laughs> on how to pump and dump and get laid. But yet we'll, we'll shame our women by saying they got a high body count. <laughs> you brothers are pathetic losers. And the most high is going to judge every last one of you for your evil on misusing the daughters of Zion. You're going to all pay for your sins. Every one of you, you're going to all pay. And when you get that venereal disease, and you will, I want you to remember my voice. You believe you have a right to just sleep around with women and just have a ball, right? Okay. When you get that venereal disease, it's going to judge you. Because you believe that you could just go out here and just do dirt. Pump our women up and leave them and have no regard for it, right? Makes no damn sense. Our women are not chasing 10% of the men. Our women don't even know what a man is because they ain't grow up with no father. They don't even know what love is. That's why they're online prostituting themselves. Because you sorry brothers keep enabling them rather than trying to sit them down and school them on what's going on. See? We don't got no men today that's teaching our women. We don't got no men trying to heal our women. The only thing you brothers trying to do is fuck our women and leave them and put your spirit in them and got them all messed up. And I already done told you, sisters, when you get with these brothers and you deal with them and they busting nuts in you, you're taking on their spirit. And that's why your mind is messed up. Because you keep dealing with these knucklehead demons. And now your mind is distorted. You're unable to pair bond with a man. And when you finally get with Mr. Right and he's trying to, to literally guide you, you don't want his guidance because you've been destroyed by multiple wicked men. If you ladies really sat down and listened to this stream from the beginning to the end, this is literally a blueprint to change your whole life. I'm trying to help you, sisters. I'm trying to help you, brothers. But there's a lot of knucklehead satanic brothers all over the manosphere, all over YouTube, all over these streets that want the dysfunction to continue because that is what make money. What make money is dysfunction. So they don't want brothers like me giving the truth. They don't want like me, brothers like me pretty much analyzing videos and break it down what other content creators is doing because they're going to always say, oh, you're jealous, you're this, you're that, you're this, you're that. Bro, stop it. Stop it. You look stupid. You're not making no sense. I'm not in no mom's basement. I'm not on nobody's panel. I don't want to be on nobody's platform. Don't even think about asking me because I'm not doing no shows with you. I'm a one-man army. Do you understand me? I don't need... No, no, you know, being on this one's panel and that one panel to try to grow and do this. And all that. I already done been there and done that already. I'm focusing on the work that I'm doing. Real content. Not no sugarcoating stuff. Trying to act like something I'm not. I'm real. You understand? Uh, let me see. Shout out to Randoms. He um, it said, it's beyond simping. Porn is free. And they still pay to see. That's what's crazy, bro. That's 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 amazing right there. That's that's crazy because it's like if you brothers wanted to see some damn legs or whatever the hell you want to see. I mean, it's free all over line. So it's like, why are you paying some chick on OnlyFans? Like, it makes no sense. It's like, damn, you thirsty as hell, man. We can't go around judging women when we enable it. We can't do that, brothers. We really can't. I know many of these people don't like me, but it, it doesn't matter. I don't care. It is what it is. We're going to bring it out. But what's funny is when people sign up to my page just to comment. That's a thirsty, 
See, that right there, that is an example of how brothers are with OnlyFans. The only way in to see that sister toes is you got to sign up. <laughs> and some of these brothers, they want to tell me something so bad. They're like, rah, rah. let me super chat it so it could be up on the screen so he could read it out loud. <laughs> I'll read it out loud and still take your dumb money. You, you an idiot. Like you got, you got no sense. That's, that shows stupidity. Like you just show the whole world how thirsty you are for attention. That's what you call a male that is in need of attention. I am so hurt that I'm watching Ringo, even though I can't stand him. I'm willing to pay him money just so that I can speak my mind and say you're jealous. <laughs> Crazy, man. That's how bad the truth hurt people. So with that being said, we're going to sign out. I'm going to probably be on later on tonight. It is what it is. <laughs> but I hope everybody enjoyed the show. I really do. Show show in the building. What's going on? If you're now joining in. You missed a lot. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man. Let me see. It's a lot of stuff that's going on, man. So much stuff. There's so much more I can say about that video, man. I only, I only took that small little clip because that stood out. And I was like, the hell is dude talking about candy store? <laughs> Make no damn sense, man. Candy store. In case you're now joining in, I'll replay the whole thing. Just to just because you just came in on the show. I don't know if Show Shao just now came came in or he was watching before, but you know we were talking about this particular clip here. <laughs> well, we can't just talk over each other. So because you were saying okay, um, because I'm because we asked you earlier if a man steps on his girl, mm. right? Is there a problem with that? And all of you guys <laughs> expressed problem with that. Mm. And then I asked, well, are men and women the same? You guys are all saying no. So what I'm saying is. How can you apply your lens of commitment, not cheating, mm. to men when we're not the same? Listen, you're not com you're not committing to none of these women. See, because if you're stepping out, the women already don't know if you're going out there just to smash women that it's wrong. Because you're not com you're not committing. See, the problem with these content creators is this: they're not teaching polygyny; they're teaching whoredom. Of course, a sister's not going to appreciate that. Of course, a sister's going to be in disagreement. If you brothers actually talked about polygyny, that you're a brother who is getting with another woman to build a family and build. It's not about sex, even though you will have sex with her if she's your wife. This is about building. If you focus on that and give them the understanding of life, biology, mating, and growing a family, if you teach a woman, she would understand you. But you brothers are coming in there talking about, well, you know, I can just go out there and bang a woman and do what I got to do and step out on my woman because, you know, it's totally different. You know, I mean, I can do that. No, it's wrong. It's wrong. Why? Because if you're in a monogamous relationship, then it's wrong. It's not like you got in the relationship and told this sister, yo, I practice polygyny. I'm going to be with more than one woman in due time if need be but I'm with you for now and I'm willing to commit myself. That's how brothers are supposed to be. If you're with a woman, you're supposed to commit to her. You may not be with multiple women right now. You may not have more than one wife, but you're committed to a woman. You got to learn to be committed to one woman first, brothers, before you can have more than one wife. You got to be first committed to having one pair of shoes before you have two. You got to be committed to having one of anything before you can be committed to more. Be faithful of few. The faith, if you're faithful of few, you'll be ruler of many is what scripture says, man. So, of course, it's wrong if you're banging women just to bang them. That's not what you do as a man. Uh, Does that make sense? Or I have a question. Sure. So, are you so we were at dinner earlier <laughs> and we actually had this conversation. Yeah. And we were saying, I asked the question to Walter. I said, Walter, 
So a guy <laughs> can have multiple women, right? He can mm-hmm. have sex with multiple women. Yep. But if I ask... Noted. He said, the guy told her that a guy can have sex with multiple women. And he just said, yes, like it ain't nothing. A guy can just have mul- sex with multiple women. No, a guy can't have sex with multiple women. Because if you have sex with multiple women, you just made multiple women your wives. Are you committed to those women is the question, brothers. If you're going to have sex with multiple women, have you made all those women your wives? If you haven't, stop it because you're wasting everybody's time. You're, you're playing yourself at this point. The same thing is a problem. Why? Okay. Well, this is... Uh, <laughs> should we Again, I ain't going to play the whole thing again. If you want to watch it, you can just rewind the whole video and that's that. But uh, let me see. We have some more super chats from downtown 296. He said, all praises to the most high. Really enjoyed the show, brother. Looking forward to the next one. Appreciate the support. Um, what is that? Uh, Spa, Spa RKY, XXS. Good show. Appreciate your support. Thanks for stopping by. Um, did I read this one? Let me see. Um, I think I read randoms already. It's beyond simping. Porn is free. Yeah, I read. I read your um, your comment. Yeah, man. Um, appreciate everybody coming through to the show. You know what I'm saying? This was a good one. You know what I'm saying? On vacation right now. It is what it is. Got some free time to burn. Um, got a lot of stuff uh, in the works, man. Got a lot of creative things that I'm working on behind the scenes, man. So much stuff, man. About to get a new camera. You know what I'm saying I'm looking forward to that. I'm doing. I'm pretty much doing some research because I don't want to buy the wrong one. You know, it's, it's so many different types of cameras out there. And I know exactly what I want, but they got so many new ones that just came out. And then they got some other ones that are on pre-order. So it's like I'm kind of just kind of looking and seeing which one to get, man. But this this is an interesting topic. And we got many more to talk about. Um, I realized that there's something going on within the manosphere where a lot of brothers are in support of women that like women. We're going to deal with that. Um, there's a lot of brothers that endorse that and push that. And I realized that it's dysfunctional and perverted. And we don't need men trying to speak for men that are in the business of supporting women that like women, while at the same time saying that our women are acting like men when they support women that like women. It's, it's off. We're going to deal with that in another stream. You know, I see a lot of foul things going on and I got to talk about it. I got to talk about it. I got to bring it out there because when I see a lot of these brothers on YouTube endorsing like bisexual women and women that are with women, my question to you brothers is, would you allow men on your show that are into men and have them doing things with each other on your show? We're going to talk about that. With that said, people, thanks for tuning in. This is Black Male Advice TV. The only channel on YouTube bringing you the truth. Oh, we got another member in the building. Uh, conservative, conservative troll. Welcome to Team Ringo. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Black Male Advice TV, the only channel on YouTube bringing you the truth. 100% raw and uncut people. I'll catch y'all in the next stream. I am out, y'all. Peace, everybody. If you like our content, consider supporting via Cash App at Dollar Sign Ringo TV Raw. Become a patron on Patreon.com for exclusive video content not shown on YouTube. You could also support through PayPal at PayPal.me slash Ringo TV Raw. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified of new content. Follow me on Instagram at Ringo TV Raw. This is Black Male Advice TV, the only channel on YouTube bringing you the truth 100% raw and uncut. I'm out. Peace.